ever pondered what happens when a helicopter engine fails in midair? The prospect may sound terrifying, yet the reality is not as grim as you might imagine. This is thanks to a meticulously designed, step-by-step -step emergency landing procedure that pilots are trained to follow. Let's begin by understanding that helicopters are not like bricks. They don't just fall out of the sky when the engine fails. In fact, they possess a unique capability known as autorotation, which allows them to descend safely, even without engine power. Now imagine a scenario where a helicopter is soaring through the sky and suddenly the engine fails. The pilot, well-trained and prepared for such situations, immediately enters the first phase of the emergency landing, the entry into autorotation. This involves lowering the collective pitch control, which reduces the angle of the rotor blades. This action decreases lift, but also reduces drag, allowing the rotor to spin freely and maintain RPM, even without engine power. Next comes the glide phase. Here, the pilot aims to maintain a steady rate of descent and forward speed. This is crucial as it keeps the rotor spinning and generates enough lift to slow the helicopter's descent. The pilot must also find a suitable landing site during this time, ideally a flat, open area. As the ground approaches, the pilot begins the third phase, the flare. This involves increasing the pitch of the rotor blades to generate more lift, slowing the helicopter's descent and forward speed. It's a delicate balancing act as too much flare can cause a stall while too little can result in a hard landing. Finally, the touchdown. The pilot levels the helicopter and uses any remaining rotor energy to cushion the landing. Once safely on the ground, the pilot can breathe a sigh of relief. They've successfully navigated an engine failure and brought the helicopter to a safe landing. So there you have it. An emergency landing in a helicopter is not a plunge into doom, but a carefully orchestrated series of steps designed to bring both machine and passengers safely back to Earth. In summary, we've taken a deep dive into the world of helicopter emergency landings. From the initial entry into auto rotation, through the glide phase and the flare, right down to the final touchdown, each phase is a testament to the skill and training of helicopter pilots. It's a stark reminder that even in the face of engine failure, helicopters have the capacity to land safely. Remember, Helicopters are not bricks. They don't just fall from the sky. They dance with gravity, twirling their way down in a graceful ballet of physics and human ingenuity. So the next time you look up and see a helicopter soaring overhead, take a moment to appreciate the marvel of engineering and the skill of the pilot that keeps it aloft.